The fourth plant in our series of five popular foreground plants is Glossostigma alatinatus. Glossa stigma comes from New Zealand and it's definitely one of the most popular foreground plants that we are seeing in the hobby. Glossa stigma, to speak about its appearance, it always gives us that beautiful teardrop kind of a leaves with light green color and compact growth. However, Glossa stigma keepers find it a bit difficult to maintain it on long term. Probably the reason is it, it's a very, very, very high demanding plant. Your CO2 needs to be perfect, pressurized CO2 is must. You must provide it with high intensity, high tech lights, macronutrients, all other nutrients needs to be balanced and provided, you know, on a consistent basis. So probably this could be the reason that Glossa Stigma is not used by beginners or intermediary hobbyists. But Glossa Stigma as opposed to, you know, plants like Repens is, is much more to, uh, tolerable to GH and KH, all those parameters. When we talk about Glossostigma, the way it appears, if you provided the right environment, which is a high tech environment, is it grows very compact with light green color teardrop. You can always see this kind of a teardrop kind of a leaves, grows very beautiful and it grows just opposite to how Monte Carlo behaves. If Monte Carlo creeps down, Glossa stigma creeps up. That's the beauty of this plant. Now, amongst all the five plants that we are going to talk about in this series, Glossa stigma is definitely the most fast growing plant. This also stems, sometimes poses some uh, issues to hobbyists because it's very difficult to contain its growth. So, Glossa stigma can be used in Evagumi scapes without much of an issue. But a scape like this, you can already see Glossa stigma is taking over. The places where we have placed uh, Blixa Japonica, it's already growing upwards under this wood and already taking over the space that we wanted to have Monte Carlo. So it's a really fast growing plant. Um, however, it's really, really, really beautiful. Now maintaining Glossa Stigma. Now, just like Monte Carlo, Glossa Stigma also requires a very specific care for it at the bottom. Again, it's a very compact, uh, you know, foreground plant, which means you will have a lot of debris, which is getting, getting stuck, uh, you know, underneath this plant. So weekly siphoning is a must for Glossa stigma. Now, one fact you must be aware of is that as opposed to Monte Carlo, the anchoring of Glossa stigma quite often is not that strong, which also makes it difficult to easily maintain the bottom of this plant, especially when you have a diatoms coming in, especially when you have hair algae or blue green algae coming up uh, it becomes kind of difficult to manually remove these algae without disturbing the plant nevertheless glossa stigma very beautiful plant if you haven't tried it yet you must try this beautiful plant i'll see you in the last and the next video of this five video series until then bye bye